Without Western aid, Kurakovo and Pokrovsk will face same fate as Bakhmut and Avdiivka. The Times. Russia has been able to step up its offensive in the Donetsk region and is trying to achieve new successes by taking advantage of the delay in Western aid to Ukraine. Now, cities such as Kurakovo and Pokrovsk find themselves on the front line and can repeat the fate of Avdiivka and Chasovya, writes the Times. My neighbor left his house not long ago, and the explosion blew his head off his shoulders, says one of the residents of Kurakovo, Elena. But where can I go? And what's the point? Russian missiles can kill you anywhere. If I'm meant to die here, I'll die here. Russia is making steady progress in the Donetsk region, but its progress is now measured in yards rather than miles. However, residents of Kurakovo and Pokrovsk are concerned that they could soon share the fate of nearby towns such as Chasovya, Avdiivka and Bakhmut, which were burned to the ground by the Kremlin military machine. Both cities are important transport and logistics hubs, and their capture will bring Vladimir Putin's troops closer to their goal of occupying the entire Donbass, writes the Times. Ukrainian troops have so far managed to prevent a large-scale breakthrough of Russian troops in the region, but Western weapons cannot solve all of Ukraine's problems on the battlefield. The army is desperately short of personnel, and its troops at the front are exhausted, the publication notes. Ivan Skuratovsky, a major in the armed forces of Ukraine, is pessimistic about Ukraine's long-term prospects if the West does not step up its participation in the war. On TV, they tell us that the situation is under control, but I understand that nothing is under control. The enemy is creeping forward. So far, we have stopped him here, but we cannot completely stop him. It is impossible, he said. He emphasizes that Russia is very strong and still maintains its advantage. We need enormous help now. I don't understand what the United Nations is waiting for. Why doesn't it send in a peacekeeping contingent? If this contingent is attacked by the Russians, then NATO troops should be sent, he said. French, German, any. I understand that no one wants to fight for foreign lands, but the world must be more far-sighted in this matter. Russia will not stop until it is forced. On June 23, the terrorist attacks in Dagestan killed more than 15 police officers. Sergei Melikov, the head of the Republic of Dagestan of the Russian Federation, announced this. According to him, more than 15 policemen were victims of a terrorist attack while protecting the peace of Dagestan. One of them is the head of the Dagestan Lights Police Department, Mavladin Kadernabiv. He was seriously injured during a shootout with terrorists and died. Sergei Melikov said at least six militants were also killed following the attacks on churches, synagogues and police posts in the cities of Derbent and the regional capital Makhachkala, which are about 120 kilometers apart. The attacks took place in the Republic of Dagestan in the North Caucasus, a predominantly Muslim region on the Caspian Sea that has a history of separatist and militant violence. No group has yet claimed responsibility for the attacks, which come three months after ISIS affiliate ISIS-K said it carried out an assault at the Kroka City Hall in Moscow that claimed more than 140 lives in one of Russia's deadliest terrorist atrocities in years. Melikov described the possible involvement of sleeper cells and suggested the attacks may have had foreign help. Operative search and investigative measures will be carried out until all participants of the sleeper cells are identified, which, undoubtedly, include some that were organized from abroad, he added. While the investigation is underway, some local Russian officials pointed the finger at Ukraine, without providing evidence. The State Duma deputy from Dagestan, Dmitry Gadziev, said he believes special services of Ukraine and NATO countries could be behind the attack. But Russian Senator Dmitry Rogozin disputed the claim, saying in a Telegram post that writing off every terrorist attack as the machinations of Ukraine and NATO would lead to big problems for Russia. June 24, 25 and 26 were announced as days of mourning in Dagestan. The relevant decree was signed by Sergei Melikov. It should be noted that in the evening of June 23, two Orthodox churches, a synagogue and a traffic police post were raided in the cities of Darbend and Makhachkala.